Jamie, paw. Oh, good girl. Good girl. I've never intended to have any sheep at all. But Jamie and her twin sister, Justina, came to my backyard as babies. I just couldn't give them back. I knew what would happen if I did that. Everything was fine. We were feeding them three times a day, but Justina started to act really strange and rolling around on the floor, which is not good news. I knew she was not fine. In the morning, she passed away on my doorstep. Jamie always bleats whenever she sees me, but this one time she just didn't. She just curled up and lay on the floor. And I just knew that she was grieving as much as we were. A lot of people don't think much about sheep. They think they're stupid. But they have a lot of complex feelings. We couldn't have Jamie on her own. We needed a, another sheep for her. So we got Ted. Ultimately, Ted would have gone to slaughter. We've given him a lifeline. He just left the lambs that he was with. Ted found it hard being away from the lambs. When he got there, he wouldn't really know what to do. All the llamas chased him around the field from corner to corner. But then after a couple of hours, Jamie and Ted both just curled up and fell asleep together. And that was the moment that I thought this is gonna be okay. Ted found comfort in Jamie from being taken away from the other lambs that he was with, and Jamie found comfort in Ted after losing her sister. Jamie is definitely more high maintenance than Ted, and she will go anywhere with me. Ted is more relaxed, but a little bit more cautious. They became sort of like brother and sister. They want to come and have a cuddle. They want to be scratched. They're like any pet. If you show them love and affection, they will return that. They get excited when they see you. They are the most calming, sweetest creatures. When I'm sat there with them, I don't worry about other things.